Today's video is about how to copy an entire directory from one place to another, all the files on the directory and so on. And the form essentially just has one button on it which says copy directory. And if we press uh, F7 to go into the code, uh, you'll see we have our two string constants, the to directory and the from directory. And once again, we have an at sign, so it can use backslashes in the subdirectory names. And you notice in the from directory, it's at quotation mark and then a dot slash, which means that the dot means the same directory as the exe file. So we have to put the directory HTML on the same directory as the uh, exe file, which in the case of a project you're developing is going to be the debug directory underneath the, the project directory tree. So if we look at uh, the debug directory underneath bin and uh, the project name and so on, we see there is indeed an HTML file. And if we go under that, we see there's three files that we're going to copy to another directory in another place namely the to directory. So I thought rather than do the usual just description, I'd actually actively debug this, which is uh, very much how I uh, develop the code. So we have the event handler for the click event of the button. And I select this line and then right click and select uh, breakpoint and insert breakpoint and you notice that puts a, it highlights the line and puts a red ball in the painting. There, there's a breakpoint on that line. And now if we go up and uh, hit run or start debugging or press F5, the uh, program starts running, but it doesn't break at the code yet because we haven't hit that line. But as soon as we press this button, we do hit that line. And essentially what the line does is create a directory info uh, object called dir and creates that on the from directory specification so that'll be the dot underscore html in fact if you put your cursor over this or any other variable it'll show what the contents of that variable is and we can see the dot slash html so it, what we need to do to step through the code is there's uh, buttons at the top here that we can press like step over is F10 step into like if we're calling a function and we want to step into that function we can do F11 or press this button and step out of if we're in the middle of a function and we just want to go to the end and get out we can do shift F11 but probably the most used is F10 so I'm going to press F10 in order to step through this code. And the first thing is if dir exists, uh, or if it doesn't exist, the uh, exclamation mark means doesn't. Uh, we essentially want to uh, throw an exception. We create our own exception by saying throw new exception, and then a message to be thrown by that exception, which is source code directory does not exist uh, concatenated with the from directory name. And the reason we want to do such an extreme th thing, basically an exception is like the most extreme thing you can do because it actually just totally terminates the program at that point and displays this message. And the reason for that is if the directory doesn't exist, the program has no uh, reason to exist either because all it does is copy from that directory. So if we press F10 to step over that, see fortunately it does exist so we don't have to throw that exception. And the next code we see is the uh, if directory, if not directory exists to a directory. And actually that doesn't have to exist. And in fact, if we look at the uh, Windows Explorer, we see in fact it doesn't exist. The directory is test with a subdirectory of HTML and that directory doesn't currently exist. 
So if we continue stepping through the code using F10, we step into the uh, directory uh, doesn't exist if. And this has a call to directory.create directory with a two directory specification, which is I colon backslash test backslash HTML. So if we step over that with F10, that directory should now exist. So if we look at the Windows Explorer, there is indeed now an HTML directory under the test. But if we double click on that, there are currently no files in it. So let's continue stepping with F10. And this takes us to a statement which creates an array of file info called files with the dir object, which is the dot slash HTML object, and a get files method. So this should get all the files that are in the uh, directory that we specified as the from directory. And then we have a for each that steps through each of these in turn. So if we step, press F10, we can actually see this stepping te take place. F10, we go to the for each, then we go to the files array, then the n, and then the file. And if we look at the file, it now contains the first file name bg-paper.html and if we continue stepping we get to uh, path.combine that combines the to directory and the file.name from the file that's the current element in the array and one of the simplest things to do is to select this variable and right click and press an add watch and that'll put a uh, temp path as the uh, watch in the watch pane. And now if we step past that, we'll notice this now contains the value i colon backslash test backslash html backslash pg paper dot jpeg, which is the first file we're copying. And then the next line does the actual copy from the to to the from directory or from the from to the to directory. And the temp path just specifies the to destination. And for a long time when I was uh, studying object-oriented code when it first came out, I was baffled as to how things like this work because in the old procedural days if you had a copy you'd need two parameters, the from parameter and the to parameter. And it took me a long time to realize that the object name is the from parameter. So we've got uh, this file which is file info which has all kinds of file info about the current file including the name. So this knows what the from copy name is this variable itself and this knows what the to copy name is. And if you're not familiar with object-oriented programming you may have to contemplate that for a while to see how that works but there are actually two parameters there the object name and then the parameter of the method in the object. So if we press 10 to keep on stepping the first file should be copied and if we look in Windows Explorer indeed the first file is there. So we probably don't need to uh, go through all three in order to determine this is working at this point we can say just start running till the end press the continue or F5 and the program will run to the end and we see the uh, form show up again and if we look at the uh, uh, to directory we see we have indeed copied all three files there in fact we can double click on the HTML and it brings up the copied file and you know we can go to Google and whatnot. Notice the background is still there on everything from the background JPEG copy. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this lesson and learned a lot from it, both about the uh, file info to copy 
and about uh, the debugger which is an extremely useful thing to know about and uh, I'll see you next lesson uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, subscribe thanks a lot